So y'all, it's me, it's your boy Asmund Golden. Today, over here I'm going to show you, I'm going to go through a rift. And I'm going to show you guys kind of how uh, the Ray of Frost build that I did for level 60, how that's worked out for me. And uh, recently I've changed my build up, but that's because of a different a different item that I got. Basically, uh, what I'm doing here is, uh, for the first like half of this video, I'm going to be pretty much always an Archon form, just because i got a channeling pylon. But basically, um, what, what this build is supposed to do is, it's very, 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 very strong at AoE. And that's mostly what it what it is strong at. It's like uh, very strong at AOE and pretty weak at just like single target. It does good single target damage as long as you're fighting multiple mobs because this is built on arcane power on crit and uh, basically doing fighting so many mobs that you'll have infinite arcane power to channel Ray of Frost with the Sleet Storm Glyph 100% of the times. So you can see here, like anything that comes inside this Frost Blunder here is just dead. And that's basically how I how I geared up. And I have like I have a fuckload of toughness. And that's one thing that a lot of people don't do. And um, I I cut a lot of that out whenever I played a more uh, a more range build. But this is a very melee intensive build. And so I definitely decided to go with the uh, heavy toughness. Like I'm talking like uh, I think I had like 15 at least 15 million toughness in this video. Like not even a big deal. And uh, basically anything as you can see like those things are exploding on me. And it's like not even doing anything. And so basically what I do is I just basically try and group things up. Like these Mogu and Sinners fucking hate these things. But um, anyway, I really try to just avoid mobs like that. But basically anything that uh, that comes in here, as you can see down here, is a whole bunch of mobs. I just get in the middle of them and start channeling uh, Sleet Storm. And pretty much everything's dead, even the Elites. And uh, so obviously you want to focus on this build as, uh, you know, Ray of Frost damage. I also use Blizzard because that will also increase my... I use that with a Snowbound Glyph that, that reduces the cost Arcane Power cost to 13. And uh, basically I use that for extra Arcane Power on Crit and uh, just to kind of keep my Sleet Storm up on, uh, you know, smaller uh, smaller amounts of targets. And as you can see here, like whenever, uh, whenever things get heavy, um, I just pop Archon and kill them, kill everything. And the, the strategy here is that you don't really want to pop Archon unless you're fighting an Elite Pack. And you also want to gather up a lot of mobs with the Elite Pack just so you can AoE everything down. Just because of how much toughness you'll have. And so besides gearing for obviously Ray of Frost and Blizzard, I think I have like Blizzard damage on my shoulders or something like that. Uh, other than that, I uh, try to focus on life on hit. And uh, also, as you can see, I'm also doing two other explosions. The first explosion is from Andariel's Visage. And basically what that does is whenever I, de I deal an attack, I have a chance to release a Poison Nova. And also Death Watch Mantle is whenever I take an attack, I have a chance to release a uh, Fan of Knives. Yeah, uh, for 200% weapon damage. And so while those things are happening, like, I mean, you can see I'm just like fucking exploding and just doing all kinds of crazy shit. And it's awesome. I love this build. But I got the four piece of Tower Ashes. And so I just, I mean, I love that even more. But uh, anyway... <laughs> This is really a lot of fun. It's very easy. Like, if you want a spec that, I mean, if you can play this if you're blind. Like, it doesn't even matter. Like, all you have to know is just run up and just hit the same button over and over. As I said, the only problems that you're going to have is obviously with the uh, with the elites and uh, single target elites. And, like, let's say, like, with the Rift boss or something like that. You, you might have a, a little bit of a bad time. But at the end of the day, you're going to be fine. As I said, that's why you always want to, you know, plan out your Archons, you know, for whenever you're going to have a Rift boss up or something like that. And, uh, you know, Archon is just so powerful, especially with the uh, very high toughness, because nothing can even kill you. And so, honestly, I would suggest this build to a lot of people who have very little gear. It's very easy to do, very easy to play, and also very easy to gear for. It. And so, basically, uh, I think I'll go over my talents and everything just for... Uh, a couple of, of seconds here, but basically I use the, um, uh, what's it called, Chill to the Bone, I use Audacity, I use the one where I stand still and I deal more damage, sorry I don't remember the uh, the name of that right now, and uh, depending on the Torment level I either use Glass Cannon or um, something similar to that, like maybe Elemental Exposure because I'm doing Frost Damage with my Familiar doing Fire Damage, and so I mean obviously it's not the best, but it does it is a, a party wide buff, and so it is kind of good. Uh, other possibilities are um, you can maybe use Evocation if you want to get more Archons up. Archons out, uh, Blur if you're taking too much damage. Uh, there's a bunch of different things you could do, but um, that's pretty much where I'm at. Uh, you need Arcane Power on Crypt for this to work. I, would per I have a Triumvirate that gives me 9, 
But uh, if you don't have that, you probably want to get it on your source and on your helm. But um, other than that, that's my gear. And that's pretty much it for the video. I might do a little bit more about this uh, build later. But uh, that's pretty much it for now. So thanks for watching and like, comment, subscribe.